Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette Syndrome. In today's video, we are driving and I'm gonna show you how I can drive with Tourette Syndrome. It's super easy, kind of. Let's go. So the way, I'm sorry the camera's so shaky, but the way I drive with Tourette's is I literally suppress, which means all of my focus is in my brain of, hey, don't tick, don't tick, don't tick. And it can be a little bit overwhelming because like you'll see, I just did a little jaw tick there, but that's not really distracting while I'm on the road. A lot of my little neck ticks and head ticks or whatever, those aren't distracting. And I, I do let them out while I drive because it's not something that's gonna put anyone at risk. It's not a dangerous thing. But for example, when I have a big tick, such as like a back tick or a leg tick, for example, sometimes I have the idea, let's put the pedal to the metal. That's something I will never do. But you know, it's just suppressing and suppressing is a skill, but it's something that ugh, I would never encourage or recommend. And the reason behind that is it's just, it's hard to deal with. It's hard to have all of your focus on not doing something, especially something that's natural to your body. So for example, ticks are involuntary movements and sounds that I can't control. And when I say I can't control them, it's more so that I can't easily stifle them or suppress them because ticks are something that are completely natural to people with Tourette syndrome. And when I'm driving, I wanna be as safe as possible on the road. I don't wanna put me or others at risk. So I always know, I always kind of look within myself oof, before I drive and say, hey Carly, are you gonna be ticky? And if the answer is no, like I can do it, I will get behind the wheel and I will focus on the road. You'll see I never usually take my eyes off the road while I am driving. I shoulder check, I do everything I need to, but it's just a matter of like being really, really disciplined. And I know that's kind of stupid to say, but again, I never encourage suppression, but while you're driving, I do encourage suppression because if I weren't suppressing, I might have to blink my eyes really hard or close them for a long period or jerk my legs or whatever the case may be and so I try my best you know to just be like hey let's just be as chill as possible I got rice let's just be as chill as possible let's not let's not I'm behind a bus let's not um, tick while I'm driving because I don't want to put myself or others at risk and that's just something I wanted to let you guys know People with Tourette syndrome can drive. Like, it's totally possible for people with Tourette's to drive. It's just a matter of being safe and ensuring that you're safe. And so, oof, I'm on a variety of medications. I'm sure you guys know, three um, pills a day, two of which are antipsychotics, and it's just a lot to deal with. But since I am so medicated, I am very much able to suppress while I drive. And that's something I really enjoy doing. Uh, I mean, I enjoy driving. It's just very therapeutic and relaxing. I'm on my way to work right now. And I'm just like, oof. besides the odd neck, neck ticks here and there, I'm pretty much okay. Like, you know, it's, it is a struggle, not gonna lie. Like to suppress, you really have to be focused and have all of your mental capacity focused on the road as well as not ticking so it's kind of like a double whammy it's kind of intense but i'm really glad that i'm able to drive because i know a lot of people with tourette syndrome aren't and i'm one of the lucky ones that is and i'm really grateful because it gives me so much more independence as opposed to just like being at home and having to rely on busing or transit or my parents to drive me so i'm really grateful that oof, i got rice that I'm able to drive. It just, it makes everything so much easier. And it is very therapeutic to just go on a drive and get out of the house, even though I have to suppress. It's just nice. Like, I, I really enjoy it. And I'm really grateful that I am able to drive and get out of the house on my own. I can be independent with my Tourette's. I know it may not seem 
like a lot of people with threats can be independent. But luckily, oof, my case isn't mega severe. It's just to the point where I tick a lot, but like I said, I can suppress. So yeah, that is about, that's what I wanted to say. I just wanted to say that driving with Tourette's is possible. I left this silent clip in because you can see I'm having subtle throat and swallowing ticks. Something not a lot of people would notice but are just as valid. I'm at a red light. But yeah, I got rice. Driving with trucks is possible. It's not something completely far-fetched and out there. You just really have to be disciplined and know that when you do have ticks, you have to be aware of how to like redirect into subtle ticks. So for example, if I have a really big urge to do a back tick or a leg tick, I will often redirect into just a little finger bend or a neck jerk. And it doesn't satisfy the urge, but it gives me enough kind of relief until I get out of the car to finally let out the tick once I'm out of my vehicle and not behind the wheel. So that's something to note as well, because honestly, it is a skill to drive with Tourette's. It's not super easy. Um, because like you already have to be so cognizant and aware of what's happening on the road. But on top of that, you have to just be aware of not ticking and not letting out really big sudden movements because because that could just lead to a disaster. It could lead to an accident. It could lead to injury for a lot of people. So just be aware that people with Tourette's can drive, but I'm behind a bus again. So many buses. Um, and I just wanted to make this video as kind of like an educational thing. I know the camera is super shaky. Honestly, I don't even know if I'll post this because of how shaky the camera is. But if I do, I apologize in advance because I know it can be really annoying to watch a shaky video. But I just wanted to get awareness out there the best I could. And yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. I'm at my work now. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that driving with Tourette's is possible. Oof. You just have to suppress and redirect, which isn't that healthy, but I mean, for a short period of time, it's necessary and it's doable. And even though it sucks, it's what you gotta do when you're driving because you don't wanna put anyone at risk. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this was kind of stupid and so shaky, I'm so sorry. I don't have a tripod for my car. But thank you guys for watching. Parking. As always, we're learning together, we're laughing together, and we're taking together. Bye!